What is going on guys? Uh, welcome back to the next video in learning Kotlin. My name is QDS Danny and you guys are watching my channel Cryowood. Okay, so in this video we're gonna talk about something called init. Init block. Or uh, you guys can uh, call it initializer. Initializer. Okay, so initializer what is initializer uh, just to begin with initializer there are two types of constructors inside uh, Kotlin there are this constructor that uh, you guys can see you guys cannot change it you guys uh, that's very simple constructor and there is another one we call init so that's how we you I'm gonna show you guys so we're gonna put our functions it comes it here so we're gonna make a room here so here we're gonna put a init initializer this is secondary secondary constructor so this is the first constructor you guys in here the first constructor we have explained to you guys and you guys see our objects how we're gonna use with the objects but there are also the uh, Kotlin allow you guys to create your the second of uh, constructor. This one allows you to put additional initializing logic. So uh, you put additional initialization logic. Whatever you guys want to put. So we're gonna if you guys want we can uh, create exactly the same as here with uh, our initialization with the second so you guys come here and you guys just put in it here and uh, we, you guys can use the same uh, here the variables here the properties here that we have in our constructor you guys can use the, all of them and as we said that's your uh, the original one that's the primary constructor this is the primary constructor you guys can put it with the parenthesis and this guy here is your secondary constructor so we put it here secondary constructor okay so we in our secondary constructor you guys can do say you guys can do the bike color the bike brand you guys can put can do say the bike brand we put it here say Yamaha and we put it say the bike color or bike uh, model so we put a say Yamaha here say next time you guys want to build a program and you want to be say the bike model manufacturer to be the upper k upper upper case so you guys can do that and uh, if we, we're gonna come here say uh, we put a color so we create the color and it's gonna be bike color but make sure because you guys see the red because this is a new variable make sure you guys can put your uh, say yeah uh, so we put a war we put a color make sure you guys can uh, put your variable here so whatever color you guys like and you guys can put the type and the type is the string so now we have a color and that's we assign this guy here to the color and you guys can say put a bike brand so we put a bike and uh, you guys can put a wall or war and uh, you guys can uh, put a say brand and what's a brand is going to be the type of string and we're going to put another one say it's going to be the bike model uh, model and it's going to be the type string again and it's gonna be the bike power and the bike here so we put a war and we put a power and it's gonna be the type int so I'm gonna put it closer and we can put a war and we put a year and it's going to be the type int as well all right the reason you guys are going to see red because we didn't initialize it so you guys need to initialize this one so we put a brand and we put this one the bike brand brand and you guys see in here as soon as you guys initialize this one here 
the error goes away and then you guys can put a bike model model to bike model model to bike model and then you guys gonna put a year to year to bike here and you guys gonna see power to bike power so bike power go we're gonna put a bike power okay so now we in our initialization we have all these variables our properties you guys are going to see all these properties inside our constructor we've seen it inside here we have created the variables and we assign a new we put a new names and you're going to see it we created all these variables here and inside initialization which is our which is our second secondary constructor we have created all here so all our uh, one two three four five we have a color brand model year power so we have a color brand model uh, power and year so you guys need to create this uh, variable for the uh, secondary constructor for initialization and now you guys need to initialize this one so and then you guys can print this one as well all right so now you guys can uh, print this one so what i'm gonna do uh, i have all this here you guys uh, can create a nice one for this one as well for your uh, function so you guys can do say print print ln and you guys can see bike uh, country of origin country of origin method so you know that's coming from the method and you guys can put your placeholder and you can uh, put that's from the last video you can uh, put this one make sure you put that one in here okay so you can put your methods here and you can do the same to here so we're gonna copy that one and we're gonna put it here so it's gonna be country bike speed and you're gonna put a sound and it's off off and the bike you guys gonna copy that one and you can uh, put it here my bike can put it here and the last one is gonna be my bike die gear so you guys can put a print ln print ln and you can put a, a bike number of gears of gears bike number of gears so you can put a bike number of gears and you can put your placeholder here open uh, close curly braces copy that one and you guys can put it here so that's this is coming from your method this is coming we're gonna put a print ln and you guys can put a uh, the following coming from method okay that's coming from your method but we want to see from our uh, init so we want to put some uh, print ln here keep in mind you guys can uh, put a capitalize you guys if you want to put a uppercase so you guys can put a capitalize here all right so you guys gonna come here and gonna put a, put a print ln print ln and inside the print ln you guys can uh, can put all all inside here so you guys can put a um, init bike color because we want to just uh, put a color so because we know now that it's coming from the init and inside this one you guys just just put a color so it's color and we're going to print two and we're going to print the bike brand so you guys can put a brand brand 
bike brand or bike say uh, country of origin or country manufacturer the in it bike uh, country of origin say manufacturer okay so now we have a bike manufacturer keep in mind too we initially put two because we have a methods here as well so we're going to get rid of the method later on we're going to show you the guys the method and in it so here we have a uh, my bike and here we have uh, two objects so what we're going to do is, is we're going to uh, finish this object we're going to comment these objects because we have uh, we only need one object if you guys want to initialize you can do the first object initialize so the color and we have a brand uh, we're looking for the green and the brand is Kawasaki and you look in here is not an uppercase so we're going to come here and run our program So you guys looking here, the first one is going to come in, come in here and it's coming the bike manufacturer, it's coming from uh, coming from the init and this guy is coming uh, from the methods. So number of seats, okay, what are we going to do, uh, we are printing this one to twice, so we're going to put something So we're going to comment this ones because we don't want to see this one again. We want to see the in it and we want to see this one Kawasaki. Okay, so we're going to see capitalize because bike brand and when we see capitalize it means we want to see the first one is uh, Kawasaki like that we want to see if it capitalize that one okay so now we our init is ready uh, and then we're gonna run and uh, you guys see that uh, our boy color is green and the year of manufacture is Kawasaki you guys gonna see and we are running with init so in it it's just like um, in initialization and it's additional initialization logic whatever logic you guys gonna want to put it here uh, you can uh, print all as long as you guys want say you guys can uh, print the bike color or bike brand or bike model so if you come here you guys gonna put print ln and you guys can put a in it the reason i'm putting in it because you guys know that it's coming from in it from here so model and then uh, you just put you just put your uh, not here and you just put a model and that we've done a brand model and then year in power we can put a print ln and we can put another print ln okay so this one is a bike year year of manufacture what year is made and you guys can put a year your variable and you can uh, put a year and the power bike engine power power and you guys know this one by a cc so you can put a cc and then you're gonna come here and put a power all right so now all our uh, uh, print ln is ready and that's our variable we have created here we have uh, create our new variables here we have assigned here all whatever inside the constructor so that's our initial uh, primary constructor you guys gonna see this is undisputed primary constructor that's the main constructor you guys gonna see but uh, Kotlin allows you guys to put another constructor which is in it 
uh, when you guys create a class you guys can create init as well it means initialization so keep in mind init it means for it stands for initialization and when we're gonna run you guys gonna see that all our uh, initialization is gonna be printed you can um, manipulate this one and you can create something else here you can you can do that just uh, if you guys want to be creative so we wait for that one all right so you guys looking here that uh, that's a bike color green Kawasaki keep in mind uh, in our program the Kawasaki is a lower case because we capitalize that one it's a lower case here we have put a uh, upper case here because we use the capitalize inbuilt function and then here that's a model in 2015 and the power CC is 500 so that's how the init works and you guys you don't need to put your uh, uh, this guy is here you guys can uh, put it on top as well 